Hello, this is Bird. And despite your intelligence, greatness, and beauty, you haven't been able to attract your ideal match. In today's video, I'm going to reveal five essential steps that can take you from being passed over or invisible to the type of man you want to finally allowing him who incidentally is also looking for you to find you. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. I'd like to start by sharing a line from one of my favorite poets, Rumi, who says, what you seek is seeking you. Think about that for a second. What that means in my expression is that there's a man out there for you who is also crying himself to sleep every now and then, who's feeling disappointed, who's craving the depth connection you can provide, who's sad, who wants more out of life than what he's getting, who also wants a family, who also wants to create this deep sense of friendship and fun and playfulness and sex and all the things that you want of a relationship. There's someone out there who also wants that for himself. And right now, for whatever reason, whether it's you're not putting yourself out there strongly enough, you're being too shy, you have some ideas about why this can't happen, he's not getting a chance to connect with you. So in today's video, my goal is to share how you can tap into that same essence. And for that, I want you to understand that men, despite what you might be feeling, despite what your girlfriends who are single might be saying to you, have strong feelings have strong yearnings, have strong needs, especially in relationships. Even though you haven't gotten what you wanted, even though you might have been betrayed by someone or more than one person, even though you may have had horrible experiences or bad experiences or mediocre experiences in relationships prior to what you're hoping to get right now, that life can change and can be different. I'm saying this to you not as a result of imagining and reading books, but as a result of helping women from multiple countries for a decade or more to actually connect to the type of man they want and doing so from a firm conviction that they don't have to lower their standards, but can share more of who they are. And as a result of sharing more of who they are, becoming a stronger magnet, who in turn has the capacity to have high standards that guys can rise up and connect with. Before I share my five essential steps with you today, I'd like to invite you to tap into my free training. So if you go to the first link in the description of this video, you'll see a page that looks like this. If you enter your name and email, you can immediately be redirected to that free training. And what that's going to do for you is it's going to share with you how you can embody the concepts of this video and all my other videos. And instead of just intellectualizing them, step into the transformation that allows you to do them and practice them and create habits that sustain and create change. Step number one, if you really want to get this, if you want to stop with the, I'm the best kept secret of man and no one can find me and the guy's not out there because you still have hope. And the reason I know we have hope is because you're still here is you need to replace cynicism with active optimism. And here's the thing. It takes nothing, no courage, no intelligence, no creativity, no guts to be cynical. All it takes is turn on the news, open up social media, and you'll be bombarded by messages that tell you in plain and simple words that this world sucks. So it requires zero intelligence to buy into a concept of this is impossible. It takes courage and it takes determination and it takes strength and it takes optimism to know that despite not having gotten this result that you can get it in the future. Listen, I'm asking you right now to step into boldness because if you look around you, anything you have in your life from the phone that's that you're watching me on right now, which might be an iPhone or an Android, to the everything you see around you, the car you drive, luxuries you have in life, the light that you can flip a switch and be able to see. All of those things were created by human beings who were bold and who didn't want to connect with what was possible and available for the majority of people. So one of the things in being able to actively step into optimism is your capacity to go beyond, well, most people get shit. Yeah, most people get shit, but that's not, that doesn't mean that you have to get it. You have to be willing to go above and beyond your conditioning to be bolder in your dreams. Because here's what happens. When you're bolder in your dreams, you can actually get them. No one is compelled to move earth, wind, and sea for a mediocre goal. But if your goal is big and lofty, then you'd be willing to do a lot more to get that big and lofty goal, which means you're more likely to get it, so long as you have the right strategy. I want to make sure that you create a big dream for yourself and that you don't, don't let go of that dream until you actually get it. At one point in my life, to think that I could, with a 
push of a button, share a message that would be reached to millions of women around the world would be crazy nonsense, that I could work from my living room and help women find love around the world at that moment. Very few people were doing it. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go not for what I think most people are doing, but for what is what I really want. And as a result of that, you and I are connecting right now. So I'm asking you to step into the same level of transformation as you envision the type of life that you want, even if you haven't gotten it so far. Step number two is I need you to unveil your top excuse as to why you're not getting this result and challenge it. Because the biggest gap between where you are today and where you want to be is a series of excuses disguised as reality that are stopping you from tapping into your full potential. For example, you might be thinking, I live in a small area and that's the reason why I connect, can't connect with guys or I'm not young enough, I'm not beautiful enough, I'm not thin enough, or I'm too thin. Whatever excuse right now you think is the top reason why you're not getting this, I want you to understand that there's women in your certain circumstances who are attracting their ideal guys. So how can they do it? Because they're not letting that one thing stop them. If you want to really get fo going forward and challenge the results you've gotten in the past, you have to be willing to identify those ideas or excuses you've put up as to why you can get them and find stronger reasons than that to move forward. For example, if your idea was, I'm not beautiful enough, challenge your idea of beauty because I have to imagine that if you don't feel beautiful enough, there's a way you're seeing yourself that is being more unfair than what a guy can see. And if you tap into your inner beauty, if you tap into your radiance, if you tap into your aliveness, that could be a stronger force than the DNA you were born with. Make no mistake, 80% or 90% of getting this result is not strategy, it's the embodiment of this mindset of abundance, of this mindset of you are more than enough to create the connection you want if you're willing to show up, if you're willing to challenge yourself, if you're willing to ask good questions, if you're willing to connect with more men, then you can get a stronger result. Step number three is I want you to challenge your current strategy and go beyond your comfort zone. So what I mean by that right now is that whatever result you have in life right now is the result of your mindset and your strategy. Now, if you're not connecting with enough men and your lifestyle is such that doesn't allow you to connect with more men, you need to change your lifestyle or you'll never get the result. If the dating app that you're using sucks, then change your dating app to find something else. If you're not meeting enough men, for example, because you're not putting yourself out there, then get uncomfortable and put yourself out there. In other words, you need to be willing to get outside your comfort zone in a healthy way to experience a new result. There's a few areas that you can hone in. Number one is the number of men you're connecting with on an average month. That's something you can track and you can change. The quality of men you're connecting with on a given month, that's based on where do you go to connect with those men. If you're connecting with guys that and they all seem like the type of guy you don't want, then you have to take the courageous step of doing something different to connect with other types of men. The next thing you can do, in addition to those external factors, is to look within and see if there's not a common denominator that you may be avoiding, a blind spot, so to speak, that's making you see everyone with a different face, with the same essence of what you can't accomplish. So be willing to be bold, be willing to be different, be willing to be creative, be willing to get outside of what you think is comfortable, because comfort and freedom don't touch. They're two different values, and the more comfort you have, the less freedom you have, the more freedom you want, the less comfort you have to be willing to step into. Step number four is you need to stop wasting time with mirages. And mirages are in the context of what I'm sharing with you right now, men who make you feel or that you interpret in terms of what they're sharing as something highly exciting and fun, but don't have the sustenance, don't have the vision, and don't have the ability to take you to the promised land, so to speak. Because when you connect with someone, if that person doesn't have a foundation of vision, if he's not clear in what he wants, or if he wants something different than what you want, and you're spending your time and energy because in your mind you've decided he's such a great guy because of the way you feel, but the way you feel is based more on projection than the reality of what he can offer to you, then you're wasting your time. Be open to different types of men who may not initially feel like the earth and sky are opening for you, but might be in a short amount of time of you connecting with them and deepening, give you the type of not just the excitement and passion, but the sustenance of someone who really wants this result versus many guys that you'll be able to connect with who will be exciting and fun and flirty and tell you how beautiful you are and won't be able to move things forward because they're not committed to a relationship and they're not emotionally available to create the depth that you're seeking. Step number five is remembering and embodying that uniqueness always wins. The major component that's been missing from you creating the result that you want in addition to any lack of strategy or asking good questions of men or being able to set boundaries, which is part of strategy, is you coming alive 
and expressing your uniqueness as clearly as possible. Because when you express uniqueness, when you express the truth of who you are, your quirks, your beauty, your flaws, when you bring it out into the open, you give a man the possibility of experiencing the real you and determining more quickly, yes, I love this, or no, I don't love this, and I'm moving on. When you show men a lukewarm version of yourself, a mediocre, a subdued, a pushed down version of who you are, then the guy doesn't know who he's meeting. And when you start finally emerging as a reality of you, then he might feel disappointed, he might feel perplexed, he might feel surprised. But if from the beginning, you take it upon yourself to share the truth of who you are, the uniqueness, the flavor, the things that make you different, and you put them out in the open, then you'll give him a chance to more quickly decide if you're the right fit. And if you're the right fit, he's gonna feel it stronger in his bones. Instead of feeling like maybe yes, maybe no, it's gonna be a hell yes or a hell no. And that's what you want to be for the guy you're connecting with, a hell yes or a hell no, and you want to do the same with him. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful, my dear. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, click the first link in the description of this video that will allow you to get into my free training. And this free training will show you how you can embody these principles, not just in your mind, but in your actions and in the transformation that will get you to the result that you want. If you like this video, click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. And last but not least, and I'm speaking to you directly. If you've been watching my videos, listening to my messages, reading my emails, and not just mine, but so many other people who share this type of vision, and you're not getting the results you want, you might highly benefit from hand-holding and personalized coaching. And if you feel that might be you, second link in the description of this video will allow you to connect with me. If we're a fit, I can share with you how I might be able to help you get this result in a fraction of the time. Thank you so much for allowing me into your heart, into your home, and as always, I challenge you, a full and a conscious life.